barbershop conversations. This is what the champ look like when he's leaving the gym. <laughs> the champ is in the motherfucking building, yo. <laughs> hey, I was so excited I forgot to put my damn seatbelt off. Oh my god. Anyways, man. What more can I say? Y'all can talk about Deontay Wilder. Y'all can talk about uh who else y'all wanna talk about? Who else? Who else? I can talk about Deontay Wilder, Earl Spence. But women lie, men lie, numbers and where people spend their money don't. Right? What did uh what did 78 say? It is the greatest single stream in boxing history. Why? Because there was money attached to it. Boxing is a business. Which proves that you made five thousand dollars this morning. I applaud that. But you got to give me credit. You know, as, as a black fight fan say, I'm too smart for my own good. But you made $5,000 off of it. <laughs> All right. And, 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 and just to validate and just take it to a higher, higher level. Fanon donated, what, $500? Has he ever... What number show are you guys on? 25, 30? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, has that ever been done before? You guys have had... 25 26 shows whatever number show you guys are on it's never been done before and, and, and i would view fanon as uh he completes the spectrum so you got lawyers you got teachers you got entrepreneurs like me you got people in the in the street you got you got teachers you got lawyers librarians trainers boxers whatever the case may be friends he completes the spectrum because a lawyer is probably one of the greatest jobs you can have uh, outside of being the president of America, right, in terms of ceiling of income. Uh, so that pretty much, I, I've never known a man to donate $500 on a live stream. <laughs> My main man, uh, Mr. Wyatt, I met him, him and his daughter in Dallas. Pleasure meeting you. What'd he donate, $200? <laughs> hey, this is a proud moment for me, yo. This is a proud moment because black fight fans say I'm too smart for my own good. But you got 700 people in your show today. Why? Because Fred, the influencer, knows what he's doing. I'm not too smart for my own good. I'm not. As I tell you guys, through yourself, you know others. Now, as I told you guys a long time ago, someone got to be the villain. I don't mind being the villain. I'm a genius, though. I tell you that much. I'm a genius. And I got $500,000 plus 700 fans to prove me right. Now, if you want to prove me wrong... I need you guys to make five thousand dollars every Wednesday for the next for the next three or four months. If not, today was an outlier experience. That means it was a phenomenon. Uh, it's not the norm. Which I mean, I, I don't know what you guys normally draw, but typically when I'm watching, I'm probably a part of, and I watch it. You know, most mornings I would say I may miss one here and there, but what three hundred people, three hundred fifty people in there, probably. You know what I mean? Yeah, what, 700 people in there? <laughs> Y'all got to give me credit, yo. Y'all got to give me credit. The champ is just leaving his workout, and I feel like a champ. It's, I'm picking up my kids right now. We going to have some fun. I'm going to go buy 25 more backpacks. We going we gonna to give away 100 backpacks this Sunday. It's just a great day. I feel great. I feel great. And, and, and you know what's beautiful about this? No matter what people say, what people do, guess what channel they coming to? Fight Week, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. Me, LDBC, and that's probably it. <laughs> and then they'll go to other people for the interviews, but they want to know the interpretation of what's going on. I'm telling you guys, I, I, I do this for real. I'm teaching you guys how to monetize everything. All right? You monetize everything. Every time Floyd stepped in the ring, how much money did I make? I don't know. I'm not, but I mean, uh, Six figures, probably. You understand what I'm saying? I bet Floyd Mayweather blind. Lomachenko's becoming that for me as well. And um, I'm teaching you guys business etiquette 101. For non the lawyer, who I respect. I, this ain't no shade, but the man donated $500 on a live stream. Has he done that before? I brought everybody out. Everybody out. Everyone wanted a piece of me. I told you, I could handle all that shit. Dude, I can handle all that. I can, and I'm not gonna delve into the subject at hand. This is a cele This is a celebration. I'm driving home from the gym, so we're gonna celebrate all the way home. I'm gonna stop and get a Gatorade. I'm gonna get a fierce grape Gatorade. You know what I mean? I'm about to stop. Oh man, 
This is a this is a celebration, yo. This is a celebration. I'm under 10% body fat. I'm on pace. I'm about 159 between 159 and 161 pounds right now. I'm feeling good. By the time I step on the plane September 4th to New York, I will be roughly 5% body fat. And I'm going to love every moment of it. This is a great man. I am so proud. I am so proud of me. Uh, hey, uh, let me ask you a question, Black Fight fan. Have you ever had a live show like that? Even when Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua were going head to head, did you ever get $5,000 in donation? Did I inspire in action? Did I inspire in action? Because every donation was like, we support you, fuck Fred. That's what it meant, right? That's what it meant. We gonna show up and show out. We ain't no broke fight fans. Man, you gotta, I'm telling you guys, y'all better learn something from this man. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from dealing with white people in corporate offices and how to manipulate, how to manipulate and inspire people to give money and pay money. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. I, I give you guys an example. My tenants um, uh, pay me rent. You know what I do on Thanksgiving? I, I give some of them turkeys. I give some of them gift cards. I give the mom Starbucks cards every couple months. $20. They feel inspired to pay rent to me. I'm telling you guys, you guys got to play this game. If you guys want to play, y'all want to play for real? Y'all want to play for real? Or y'all want to play for fun? What do y'all want to do? <laughs> oh man, this is a great day, yo. It's a great fucking day. I am elated. Man, I am I am man, I am I am joyful right now. Really, really joyful. And um the champ is in the building, yo. The champ is in the building. The champ is in the building, yo. I am the champ. I am the biggest influencer on YouTube. I inspired 700 people to go to a live stream and donate five thousand dollars Y'all not gonna give me credit, but the proof is in the numbers for the next five Wednesdays I need you to make five thousand dollars and I need you to make get an average of 700 people on your live stream If you can't do that it proves that Frederick Hawthorne knows exactly what he is doing. I'm a genius at this I am a ge how many videos have I inspired 200? 200 and I don't even watch them. I just see the title because I subscribe to all your channels. I just look at the titles and I say, I say, gotcha, 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 gotcha. And if you invest money in a live stream or if you do a video in a live stream, what are you going to do? Watch the fight. All right? You're going to watch the fight. Keen eyes. Whether you're rooting for Floyd Mayweather or not, you still bought the pay per view. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. This validates who I am. Y'all validated me more than y'all ever ever know. More than you ever ever know. Like for real. I'm being real G. This is real G code right here. I'm teaching y'all. I'm teaching you how to turn a how to turn one chicken into two chickens, Black Fight fan. I'm teaching 78. I'm teaching you how to turn two birds into four birds. You know what I mean? I'm teaching you to convince your dude to go to drive down to uh to drive down to Miami for five hundred dollars instead of a thousand dollars. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Go meet, go meet the Colombians down in Miami for you. You know what I mean? Catch that I ten, right? Right, Black Fight fan, catch that I ten. Man, I know the game, man. I know the game. I'm a pro at this. I'm a pro at this, man, for real. We gonna catch that I ten and go meet the Colombians down in down in down in Florida, right? Go hang out with Rick Ross for a day or two. <laughs> Oh man, homie. <laughs> and see, see, and another thing too. See, I was gonna stay in character on your live stream. I was gonna rebuttal every mark. Man, you could have had that live stream. I swear to God, you would have got over a thousand people in that live stream if you would have had me going. I wouldn't explain myself. I would have rebuttaled you. I would have rebuttaled you. More, more super chats coming in. More people engage. But nah, you don't want to do that. You want to, you want to start over. Don't reinvent the wheel. You ride the wheel until the tire goes flat. All right. You don't reinvent the wheel. Never reinvent the wheel. Floyd Mayweather gave us the blueprint. If you don't believe it, ask Andre Ward. Right? Good guys don't. Good guys don't get to a hundred million dollars per fight. I'm telling you, this is real talk. And 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 if I gotta be the enemy, sometimes I gotta be the enemy. But we got five thousand reasons to prove why Frederick Hawthorne is a G. I'm a fucking general. I'm the motherfucking Don of YouTube. I am the king of YouTube. I'm gonna put this on my resume, for real. I'm gonna put this on my resume when I uh, 
<laughs> what I do. Hey, you might get 10 videos of me celebrating today. I'm just being real G with y'all. Like, this has been an extraordinary morning. I had a great workout. I had to cut my workout short a little bit. I got to go back in tonight and get my miles in. I got to pick up my kids, and uh, we're going to go downtown and get some more backpacks. I'm going to go charge the car. So maybe if the kids are asleep, I'll do another video while I'm charging the car. But salute me, y'all. This is a salute to Frederick Hawthorne. This is a salute to Frederick Hawthorne, y'all. This is a motherfucking salute to Frederick Hawthorne. He did the damn thing. So continue to do videos. Keep us engaged, right? Keep us engaged. And uh, I'm going to go get this great, fierce Gatorade and uh, head home. But anyways, man, barbershop conversations. The general. I'm the motherfucking Don of YouTube. I am the most influential guy on YouTube. I inspired 700 people to go to your live stream and listen to you and listen to you respond to me. Y'all should have stayed on me the whole show. You got you got two years to talk about Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence. Business 101. Talk about what the people want to hear. In L.A., when Kobe and Shaq was beefing, all we want to hear was about was Kobe and Shaq. All right? Business 101. All right? Don't, follow the stream downstream. Don't be a salmon and swim upstream. All right? You ain't got to be different. Business 101, Black Fight Fan. I'm, I'm teaching you the game. Right? I'm teaching you the game. You may know the streets better than me, but I know business. All right? I done made a lot of money S make, making simple, smart, intelligent moves. And I made you a lot of money today. So now when people think of Sean Porter, Danny Garcia fight, what they going to think of? Think about that for a second. I'm gone. Peace. <laughs> Boxing is a business, 78. Boxing is a business. The most successful live stream on YouTube. Why? Because you made $5,000 and you had 700 people in the motherfucking building. I'm gone. Peace.